Hello and welcome to Trungle Park for the third qualifying round of the FA Trophy. Today sees two teams locked at the top of the Southern League face off for a place in the first round proper of the FA Trophy. This is Mausel versus Bristol Manor Farm. Welcome to the field. Mausel! Tal, five wins out of six in the league. Do you feel you can carry this form over into the cup? Uh, I mean, yeah, hopefully. Um, I think it's one thing that since I've been here has not been uh, the thing that we've like succeeded at. Um, I mean, I'd absolutely love to go um, to somewhere big in the cup and play a big team, one for myself and one for the, the club. I think it'll be um, something that would be a real big achievement that we look back in a couple of years and think that was a great day or what, you know, whatever it might be. But yeah, definitely something that I would like to do. You're creating a real partnership with Julio and Ross in midfield. How's that going for you? Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, um, I mean, we've not trained absolutely loads like we, we usually do because of the fixtures and stuff like that. Um, but in terms of partnerships, I mean, they're, they're two like, incredible players, um, so it's been pretty easy. Um, but yeah, just hopefully we can continue that. Half time here at Trungle Park, and Mausel have gone in trailing by a goal to nil. A goal right before half time for Bristol Manor Farm, and a relatively scrappy first half. And now Mausel have 45 minutes to turn this around to progress.
when it's all finished here at Trongle Park and Mals have gone crashing out of the FA Trophy. They've been beaten here 2-0 by Bristol Manor Farm. It's been a relatively grim afternoon for the Seagulls and they now look forward to next Saturday's game in the league. Jake, disappointing result, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I thought, um, first half we were really good actually. Um, and had we come in at half time against the win, nil-nil, we'd have been really, really pleased. Um, so they scored a goal at a great time, a um, bit of a sucker punch. Um, and and that, that changed the course of the game, it really. Because I feel like if we come in at half time, nil-nil, and, and like I say, with the wind behind us, second half, um, I think it might have looked a bit of a different game, but they, they, they scored their goal. Um, and then they did all the things you need to do second half. You know, they slowed it down. Um, game got really bitty, and 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 the score. You know, they looked dangerous on the break, and I don't think we did enough second half. They looked more likely to score in the in the second half in the end. So, um, you know, obviously we're disappointed with the second goal, um, but you know, forgetting that we we didn't do enough second half. You know, I don't think the keeper really had a shot to save second half. We got in good areas, but just didn't make good decisions or pick the wrong pass or gave the ball away or forced it. Um, so, yeah, disappointing. Um, and, you know, I think the most disappointing bit is just not getting to half time at 0 0. Um, just switched off for, for a second and, and got punished. And as a result, the second half was, was very different um, from the way it, it, it may have gone. It got really intense towards the end of the second half. Do you feel there was any point of a comeback? No, not really. I felt like first half the goal was coming any minute. Um, you know, got into some good areas, balls across the box in and around the box, you know, Nix has fired one across the goal there. Um, and I just felt like we were going to score. Um, but second half, it didn't really look like it in truth. Um, you know, they did a really, really good job. You know, great, great football club. You know, we had a really good record against them last year. I think they had two wins last year. Um, but, you know, to come down here and, and win is tough. So full credit to, to Manor Farm, like I say, Lee's a fantastic manager and, and, a, and a really good non-league club. So um, they'll, I'm sure they'll have a great journey back. I think they're back in sort of two, three weeks back here for a league game. Um, I'm sure we learned a lot from, from that today. And like I say, the boys can take lots of positives from that first half in terms of how they controlled the game and, um, you know, the areas we got into. Um, the quality just wasn't quite there in the final third. So um, learn from it. Um, we'll... we'll um, We've got a free week this week, so I think it's the only one without a midweek game for about six months by the look of it. So um, we'll get some good training sessions in, looking at little bits that we can tidy up. But it wasn't a million miles away. And like I say, I think the goal on half-time was a real game-changer. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll wish Bristol Manor Farm loads of luck in the next round. Like I say, I'm sure they will go and do well. They're a good side. Um, and, yeah, we look forward to seeing them back in a, in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks, Jake.